Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Helicopters Gimbal and Precision Services host training event. Tennessee Flight Training broadens academic operations. Air Transat and CAE launch Ascension Academy. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for nearly 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. Helicopters Gimbal and Precision Services host training event. September 2023 saw flight instructors and aircraft owners from across the U.S. travel to Oregon for purpose of participating in Helicopters Gimbal factory instructor training. The event was jointly hosted by Gimbal and Precision Support Services, LLC. The training event complemented the release of Gimbal's Flight Instructor Guide, a training aid instantiating Gimbal's customer service ethos and evincing the company's dedication to the safe operation and proficient maintenance of its aircraft. Provided by Gimbal factory pilots and developed in partnership with the global network of Gimbal distributors, the training contemporaneously reinforced cockpit best practices and addressed actual and potential mistakes commonly observed in helicopter flight training. Helicopters Gimbal espouses the belief that aircraft manufacturers are fiduciarily obligated to ensure their products are operated competently and responsibly. Deriving of Helicopter Gimbal's Instructor Factory Training Curriculum, the recently published Flight Instructor Guide is available to all G2 instructors. The optimal means by which to plumb and implement the guide's contents is for lay instructors to train with Gimbal Factory pilots, the so-called train-the-trainer praxis. Gimbal and Precision plan to host a yearly U.S.-based iteration of the described training in McMinnville, Oregon. Coming up after the break, John and Martha King to appear at NBAA Coffee Social. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. John and Martha King to appear at NBAA Coffee Social. John and Martha King will sign personalized copies of their new book, Sky King's Flying Adventures with John and Martha, as featured guests at 2023's NBAA Coffee Social in Las Vegas. The Kings will be on hand at booth number N1834 at 1400 PDT. NBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin stated, quote, John and Martha King are synonymous with general aviation and beloved across the industry. Mention their name in a group setting and everyone will have a John and Martha story. We are delighted to have them join us to sign copies of their own story at this year's Coffee Social, end quote. U.S. Air Force Instructor Pilot Effects Yosemite Rescue Air Force instructor pilot Captain Joshua Haviman has been recognized for his contribution to the rescue of an injured hiker in California's Yosemite National Park. According to representatives of Fairfield, California's Travis Air Force Base, Captain Haviman, while negotiating the final stretch of a September 2nd summiting of the park's famed Half Dome, witnessed one of his fellow adventurers suffer a 60 to 80 foot fall onto a small ledge some 8,000 feet above the Yosemite Valley floor. Upon reaching the victim, Haviman fashioned a makeshift splint and then covered the victim with his coat and instructed witnesses on the mountain to contact authorities. Nominations open for 2024 Trailblazing STEM Educator Award. The Challenger Center and the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics are accepting nominations for 2024's Trailblazing Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Educator Award, an honor bestowed upon K-12 teachers recognized to have given their utmost to inspire future generations of explorers and innovators. 
Three winners and their respective schools or organizations to be selected from among the nominations will each be awarded $5,000 and receive free access to Challenger Center's STEM education programs. AAMS announces 2023 Community Award finalists. Established in 1980, the Association of Air Medical Services is a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit international trade association engaged in representing and advocating on behalf of the critical care transport industry. By means of a variety of annual awards, AAMS recognizes excellence and leadership in emergency medical transport. The association is pleased to announce finalists from among whom the winners of 2023's awards will be selected and subsequently honored during the October 23rd through 25th Air Medical Transport Conference in Columbus, Ohio. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Tennessee Flight Training Broadens Academic Operations. Tennessee Flight Training has purchased the Flight Training Division of Azure Flight Support, which includes Shelbyville Flight Academy and training locations in Crossville and Cleveland, Tennessee. In addition to broadening the scope of Tennessee Flight Training's academic offerings, the acquisition facilitates long-term strategic partnership for fixed base operations and maintenance services. Tennessee Flight Training President Chris Erlinson stated, quote, the commercial aviation industry continues to face an unprecedented pilot shortage due to many pilots reaching retirement age and an overwhelming rebound in demand following the pandemic. This partnership allows Tennessee Flight Training to expand beyond our current market and to continue providing the aviation industry with top-notch pilots from this region. We couldn't be any more excited about working with Azure Flight Support with their years of expertise combined and outstanding integrity in their operations." End quote. Aviation industry analysts predict a global shortfall of at least 34,000 commercial pilots by 2025. Meanwhile, demand for airline pilots is expected to increase dramatically over the coming decade, outpacing the average growth rate of most occupations. Coming up after these messages, Air Transat and CAE launch Ascension Academy. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Air Transat and CAE launch Ascension Academy. Air Transat and CAE have partnered to launch Ascension Academy, a new cadet training program by which the airline will train its future pilot cadre. The Ascension Academy program will offer aspiring pilots a defined pathway via which to earn pilot certification at CAE's Flight Academy, and upon attainment of their ATP certificates, opportunity to undertake careers as Air Transat right seaters. Applications are now being accepted for training beginning in February 2024. Upon successfully completing an interview process, applicants will be admitted to the Ascension Academy program and receive conditional letters of employment from Air Transat for second-in-command positions. Upon attaining the requisite pilot certification, Ascension Academy graduates will become fully qualified Air Transat SICs and fly state-of-the-art Airbus aircraft throughout the airline's global network, including two transborder and international transatlantic destinations from the air carrier's hub airports in Montreal and Toronto. By providing high-speed, low-drag flight training, the Ascension Academy affords Canadians opportunity to actualize their dreams of flying professionally. By dint of a team of instructors and mentor pilots from CAE and Air Transat, the Ascension program provides structure and support to cadets throughout their journeys from classroom to flight deck. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.